Greetings fellow watchers. What I want to explain to you today is uh, the prestige system of NEO and don't expect anything like for instance in Call of Duty or other online modes where you um, rank up and then reset your rank or for instance in Dragon Age Inquisition the online mode there work the same as far as I know. Um, it works a bit differently. So the titles section is actually including all of the prestige things that NEO has to offer. It's separated into two different types of uh, prestige titles, Ungio and Agio. As you can see at the very bottom, um, these are permanent bonuses that you can choose yourself. And um, I, for instance, I went with um, Plus Life, more close combat damage to Yokai, more durability of the living weapon. Um, the versus yokai realm, for instance, means more resistance uh, to pollution and defilement from the yokai realm, or also I have more on your magic power. For Ungyo, I have um, unlocked more key, for instance, more damage to humans, less damage from falling, more healing on elixir use, uh, more toughness, and I skipped on ninjutsu power because this build isn't using ninjutsu. Um, as you can see, for both sections I don't have any points left at the moment but there is a bar and it's already filled quite a bit for um, the Ungyo part so um, you can see in the title list what exactly you have to do and you can do to unlock titles for instance key damage elemental usage or damage with elements um, water and earth are most filled. You have to kill certain numbers of enemies. Um, I'm pretty sure it's in this section exactly. Uh, for instance, you have to kill several of the same boss or you have to kill the bosses solo without taking a single hit. It, it's alright with the first boss. Um, I guess it's gonna be a pain in the ass with several other bosses. As you can see here, yeah. we we'll Kill three on Ryoki and kill five uh, and you see you you gain reputation points 10 20 the crusher for instance not taking damage gives 60 reputation points um, the titles here for Ungio are mostly um, weapon based in the beginning you can see kill humans first 50 100 150 and then 250 works for all the the five melee weapons for ranged weapons the numbers are a bit lower 20 50 and um, 100 100 and probably 150 maybe it's even 200 up, but I don't expect such a big jump um, then there are things um, like for instance um, destroying boxes and jars long distance weapon kills soul matching use of finishing moves grappling or just collecting money and um, finding rare items, things like that. So it's pretty easy to figure out. Then when you have a point or gain several points, you go to Prestige Summary and it shows you if you have points you can choose. It's always a section of four and as soon as you pick something, for instance key, it will be replaced with, with uh, something else that is completely random uh, from the pool that you can choose from. So. I, for my part, for instance, I totally skipped on Injutsu power in Ungyo, in the Ungyo section on item drop rate and gold earned. I don't think that's very important for a build. And um, also I skipped on luck in the Agio part because I rather farm than wasting points on luck or, or uh, taking less elemental damage. I don't know if I ever level that might be, um, but for sure I won't uh, level the Emrita earned part, for instance. That is actually it for the prestige system in uh, NEO and in the description I will link um, link a video video guide already to um, a really nice farming route for farming prestige titles and uh, actually it's happening in this very area it takes just two minutes to get to the shrine and then you can farm mostly human enemies dwellers get your range skills weapon kills elemental damage things like that um, like I said it will be linked in the description thanks for watching